Hey, how's it going everyone? So, I posted a video of these boards and people were asking about me actually showing how they go together, how easily they go, they go together. Um, I just got them, so I really am experimenting myself with them. So, I figured I'd do it online. So, I did my first one and it's easier just to use rivets. Works just as well. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to do it while I'm sitting here. You can see how difficult it is, how hard it is, but I'm just going to build it and uh, you can watch the process. In order this, for this to work, I have to cut this down. So what I'm trying to achieve here, the tabs to be the same length as these here. So if you can see here, I cut the tabs down and fold them over each other. So you'll get to watch that. Starting with the B positive, uh, what I did was fold. I left the first tab that's positive in full tack because I'm going to be using that to connect to um, an outgoing lead. Uh, here's your series connection from here to here. So it's positive, negative. The next one's positive and then negative is on the bottom. Over here is a negative. So what I'm doing is folding it up. And you can see I punched these two little holes in it. So I'm gonna grab another one. I use this little guy here to punch the hole in it. It's a rivet punch. I don't know if that's actually the technical name, but. So now I'm taking the positive side and connecting it to the negative side on the back. So negative to positive, or very exact. So you just slide it through like that. Now. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out the best camera angle along with the best angle for me to work on this. I know it's tough to see with the glare, but essentially the same thing. We're going to do this side here. So I already folded this one up. We're gonna fold these tabs down so they overlap each other. What I'm doing is pushing down and folding them over top of the board's strips. That's it. So once I do that, I get one of the tiny rivets. These are aluminum rivets, so they conduct electricity a little bit better. So to get a better connection, I'm putting a little washer on it. There's nothing special about these. I just got them from the hardware store. Um, just made sure I got aluminum. So you press it in. You used a rivet gun before and you just squeeze it, turn it up and it'll pop off. Just check, make sure it's connected on the back. Make sure it's not loose. And there it is, the rivet's done.
For the last negative one, you're going to want to leave a full tab. And then you want to bend the last one up so it does not short with the one underneath of it because it is a little longer. Same thing with the first positive. So I put it in. All you do is fold this down. Here you have them connected, overlapping each other. Lift it up. And there you go. You laminate it with um, fiberglass. So right here is the ledge that these are gonna sit on. Once I do the fiberglass, fiberglass is ungodly strong. Um, so I'm gonna fiberglass it. I'm going to once again spray the inside with heat resistant um, paint that can handle up to, I think it's like a thousand and some degrees. Uh, I'm also going to wrap the pack. Just run the leads down and to the side, but I'm going to show you how nicely this fits in here. So right there. Now these aren't put together, obviously. I mean, they're put together, but they're not taped together or bound together yet. So you have them in there. It's holding. Well, you have your inside. There's actually extra space once these are put together right here. So you can leave your BMS in here or you can leave it outside of it. So here you have, you're going to connect your leads, your, uh, you can see the B plus, that's your positive lead, your negative lead. Um, I'm going to put a top on it and then put battery terminals on the top. This is going to get sealed off and the battery terminals go on the top. You're going to have a totally enclosed sealed battery. This right here, it's like I said, a 40 amp hour. 24 volts and can put out 120 um, amps. And the size of this box is three inches by almost seven inches, let's just say by 10 and a half inches, just about. So there you go. Uh, I don't actually have anything that I'm using this for. I just was using it as a demo. Uh, so I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with it. I might build a couple of these and just string them in series so I can get 36, 48, whatever I want volts for whatever project I'm gonna do. Um, the power wall that I'm building is going to be 500 amp hours and I'm gonna run it at 48 volts. Um, I think I said my house is around 5,000 square feet. So I need to have enough power to power the entire house. Or I'd like to have enough power to power the entire house for two to three days, putting solar panels up to recharge them. Um, 
I'd like to be off the grid totally. So tell me what you think. It's pretty easy. I have a ton of these boards, like I said. And up here, they are, right now, the ones that I ordered for myself are 7S, 1P, and also 14S. I'm sorry. There it is. 2P, 14S. Um, so this is a 48, 80 amp hour one with the cells that I'm using. I'm not saying you have to use these cells. You could use any cell to fit in here. The A123s, I think that they're like uh, 20, 20 amp hours. So if you did it, it would be 40 amp hours by 48 volts. Um, if you find another cell that's more energy dense, you're able to use that. Uh, I have all the measurements connect or I have measurements to it so you can figure out if the cell that you're looking at will fit. I'm going to either line, I'm probably going to spray it with non-conductive paint um, so nothing can short out if one of them fall into each other and then also put Kapton tape on it. Uh, what's it called? Paper. The uh, non-conductive one-sided paper. If anyone works with 18650s or batteries, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, so... I'm going to have a couple of these for sale. Or I'm going to uh, throw them up on eBay. And if anyone wants them, you're welcome to them. If not, no big deal too. Um, it's just I don't need 800 of them. So if anyone else is interested in them, they're going to be relatively cheap. Uh, and save you a ton of time. And yeah, so just to give you an idea, this setup here, 24 volts. I'm sorry. Yeah, 24 volts and 40 amp hours all in with the batteries, with the connector was 200 bucks. These are lithium ion, so usually they cycle, I believe the spec sheet said that they cycle right around uh, 800 times. Um, if you use Life PO4, I believe they cycle closer to 2000. Uh, before they're at 80% state of charge. But they're great cells. I like them. For power walls, you're not drawing that much, especially if you're putting uh, a bunch in parallel. Once again, like, subscribe. Hope you liked the video. And I will see you all later. I hope this helped out. Hope you can use it in your RVs, your power walls, whatever. Yeah, so hope you liked the video. Talk to you guys later and have a great night. Like and subscribe.